Oh, but we are not done recruiting yet. There's more. Oh, is there ever? The, the next recruit is pretty interesting because it kind of leads you to an optional dungeon and stuff, which is pretty cool, actually, because, like, the previous Sukodans didn't really do that kind of thing, except for Sukodan 4 with Ted. But, yeah. Okay. So, in, in order to get this recruit, we actually need to go to a city that we haven't been to yet. That we could have gone to earlier, but we didn't because we there was really no need to. So we're going to go ahead and do that. But again, we're going to need to go back to... Uh, back on the ship. To I guess we could go to either the Southern Wharf or Hod. I don't think it'd really matter which. Because cause both of them would work pretty evenly, I think. Hod might be a little closer? Maybe. I, I I think it would actually be closer. A little. I don't know. It's, it's, it's hard to tell, really, but... We'll go back to Hod. I'm not sure which one would actually be closer. It, it's pretty even, though, I would say. Bum, 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 bum. Basically, we need to head like east of uh, Rainwall, which is a, which is an area we never really went to, because like I said, there was really no need to at that point. But now we can. I'm. You don't actually have to go to this city until like much later on, as as, as a plot point. But it's it's a city that was mentioned. A couple times, but we, but we never really went there. So while we're there, you know, other than the uh, stuff we do for re recruiting purposes, we can check it out, you know? It's a pretty cool city. Bum bum bum. Bum bum. I love this game. Have I ever mentioned that? I, I doubt I have, but there it is. Big surprise. Alrighty then. Joystick? D don't mess with me, man. D don't. D I don't want to hear none of your sass, sir. Bum, 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 bum. Just follow the path. It is nice having an actual map now. Instead of just some scribblings. Ooh. It. If you. You may not notice, but Zavid's spear looks a little sharper now, doesn't it? I think it does. Zavid had to do nothing. His services were not required for, for this fight. He just had to sit there and look badass. That, that was basically his, his duty. So instead of heading t to the left to Rathfleet, we're going to head this way. To a new city. With new stuff, new problems, and a horror horror for some unknown reason. That dies in one shot. And we can get some money along the way, it's no big deal. Oh, you can walk on the world map, I wasn't sure if you could do that. Interesting. Area boss? What? What is this nonsense? Siren. I had to time it. Wow. A few hits and you're gone. How is that? Flowing sword orb, sleep orb, and a mega medicine. Money was not really that great for a area boss, but... Eh. That is how it went. So just follow the yellow brick road, and we'll get to where we want to be. What is this nonsense?
So far, I wanted to call him Zavid again. For goodness sake. So far, the guy has had to do absolutely nothing. <laughs> he just stood there and 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 looked all badass. That's basically all all he's had to do. Because these enemies are extraordinarily weak. And that's just the way it is. Oh, Joystick, I really don't like you. Okay? Yeah, go ahead, Prince. Don't say a word. Words are overrated, anyway. Who needs to talk? That's just stupid. There we go. Well, almost. We're almost there. Whoa, not that fast, man. Oh, I can't wait for my new controller. It's gonna be great. That's some good money, actually. That's like more money than those guard battles give. Yeah, so this is Esterus, which is a city we've we've heard about a few times. It's obviously a port city, and this is where Boz is from. It's got windmills, and this city becomes extremely important for a a later plot point, which is a pretty pretty awesome part of the game, and you'll you'll see why when we get there. But yeah, oh, love the song. Makes me think of T Termina from Chrono Cross a little bit. So we got a, n a new city to check out, don't we? Yeah, we do. Ah, His Royal Highness the Prince of Felena. Welcome, lad. Don't call me lad. Sure, Estrus is beautiful now. Things were looking pretty bad when Armus invaded eight years ago, though. But Her Majesty the Queen and Commander Farad drove those barbarians out. <laughs> Excuse me, I hiccuped and helped rebuild the town after the war. Just look around. You'd never know this place had been invaded, would you? That's why the whole town's behind you, Your Highness. It's our way of showing our gratitude to the royal family. So well, what does that say? Eomat a and H, Ganari, Missouri? I don't know. I don't know what that said, but maybe it's Greek, like an FF7. I don't know. That? Dude, you're talking about plot stuff. Nobody cares about the plot. We've got side stuff to be doing here. Babbage's Workshop, which is where we need to go, actually. Boom, they're just like hanging out. Odd man. Don't bother me. One false move and the gear precision's gone kaput. A bad gear won't last a year, you hear? <laughs> awesome. And here we have a young man. Oh, the prince. You are the prince, right? Welcome to Professor Babbage's workshop. The professor's the greatest inventor in all of Felena. His work includes such engineering feats as the revolving bridge and the windmills of Estrus. Cool. Oh, and I'm his assistant, Sorensen. Nice to meet you, your highness. So it's Jesse Sorensen. You probably don't know who that is, but... Maybe some of you do. Probably not. You're free to look around at anything you like. Just be careful, Your Highness. I'll try. This song also kind of reminds me of uh, Greg Minster uh, on a certain part of it. Yeah, so this is Bowed. In a way, he kind of reminds me of uh, Alexis Shea from Lufia 2. A little bit. Dun, 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 bum, 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 bum. Oh, it's a girl! Hello, 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 hello! I like her little, like, pilot headgear thing. Oopsie, sorry! Hmm? Hey, noob! Are you some new apprentice guy for Professor Gear? I'm not a noob! What are you talking about? Oh, Professor Gear is here himself, so never mind, noob! That girl, I'm telling you. Professor Gear, you gotta take a look at this gadget. It was all dink, dink, dink with it. And it was all bam. What is going on? 
What? Lou, not again. What did you do to the professor's masterpiece? Look, I'm glad you've shown so much interest in these things, but you've got to be more careful. Mr. Sorensen with his freckles. Blah, blah! Maybe Professor Gear will think to make it cute little girl and ding 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 proof next time. <laughs> Most cute little girls don't treat their gadgets like you do. He doesn't have time to fix everything you break. Sorensen, that's right. I, I, I don't have the time. You take a look. I'm sure you can take care of it, hmm? Yeah, so his catchphrase is, hmm? He says that a lot. P Professor? D do you really trust me to handle one of your marvelous creations all by myself? Uh, okay, Professor. I'll use everything you taught me to try to fix this. You won't be disappointed. That's right, Apprentice Number One. Bang, bang, bang on that thing till it works again. <laughs> okay. Hey, don't you have anything else? Like something with gears that go click, click, vroom, vroom, whoosh? Er, no, Lou. No? Click, click. No vroom, vroom. No whoosh. Oh man, what a bummer. You better have something that's all vroom, vroom next time I come by. I'll even take something that goes whoosh. Apprentice number two, get working on that vroom vroom for me. Okay, thanks. You gotta love Lou. You really do. I, I'm i terribly sorry for that silly girl's behavior, your highness. Yeah, well. She lives nearby and comes by often, but she's a bit, well, unique. She's not like other girls, in other words. Well, who is? She's harmless, really. Well, so long as you're not a gadget. So please be understanding of her eccentricities. Yeah, well. You're free to look around to anything you like. Just be careful, your highness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's wonderful. Yeah, okay. I, 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 I've always thought Babbage's head looks like a piece of pizza. Anybody else see that, or is that just me? That's great. Okay. So, so basically you had to see that scene... And now we want to head over to the Revolving Bridge, but before we do that, we're going to check out the rest of this place. Because there's a lot of stuff to see here, man. Like this person. Hey, Your Highness, what are you doing back here? There's nothing but boring storerooms here. Yeah, what's wrong with that? You know, there, there, there's like storerooms here, so there's a good chance you, 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 you could get mugged back here. You, you know what I mean? It could happen. No fooling. What's up with you, man? It's an appraiser! We have nothing to appraise, so... You're of no use to me, sir. Hmm, what should I make for dinner this evening? How about curry? I, I don't know about you, but that, that sounds good. Curry, yeah. Lord Wilde's as kind hard as they come, but he can be a little bit naive, unfortunately. And just as I thought, that snake Lord Borrows was playing him like a fiddle. Yes, he was. Bum, 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 bum. I just went in somewhere that I couldn't even see. Refined woman. I, I bet she's not really that refined. Ah, Prince Frasia. Welcome to Estrus. Do you remember me, Your Highness? I wouldn't be surprised if you'd forgotten. We met so long ago. My apologies. I'm Donna, Boz's wife. Oh. I hope I can be of service to you, Your Highness. Nice place you got here. You got a big old fireplace that's not being used, and some stuff, some barrels, a plant, and ni nice carpeting you got there. I think we can all appreciate that. Hmm, got some tables and desks and beds. We got a chest! Mega medicine! Mega medicine! Bum 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 Honestly, I think this song was supposed to be like an ode to Greg Minster. J just my opinion, but yeah. Boy! Hi, Prince. Nice to meet you. I'm Keith. You mean like Keith Lee? Hi, Prince. I'm Kurtz. Thanks for helping Daddy. I've always thought that was a weird name, Kurtz. 
I mean, yeah, there's Kurt, but Kurtz? I don't know, man. I don't like that. If you know anybody named Kurtz, leave a comment. Alright, so, let's head out here. What do we got going on around here? We got some people and their weird habits and... But Lord Wilde's trusting nature is also what makes him a steadfast ally. He'll never betray you, Prince, rest assured. Yeah, I really don't see that happening. <laughs> okay. Do you want to play Tag 2, Prince? Not particularly. Nice fountain. It's like a rock that's taken a leak. That's basically what this fountain is. So, there you go. What do we got? Heal. We got some stuff. Some stuff. Hey. It's an inn. We don't need to stay. Who needs to stay? I mean, that's just dumb. Hmm. What are you doing? I really want to go on a trip to the island nation soon, and I'd like to see the kingdom of Obel. So go to more reference. But it's pretty much impossible to go anywhere with all the fighting that's going on. Yeah. You gotta have connections, basically. Ooh, a blacksmith. What level can we go to here? Can we go above... That's just seven. Freaking blacksmiths and your lack of talent? What's the matter with you, man? Where's Mace when you need him? Boom, 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 barrels! We got some grass! What the hell? This is a weird place for an item shop, what the hell? It's like way hidden in the back here. So we got some stuff, some cheesecake, some smelling salts, squid and octopus, yellow scarf. I guess we'll go ahead and buy the squid and the octopus so that we can put it into storage when we get the chance. And y y y y yellow scarves, which are really expensive, but they negate status resistance by 50%, so that's not worth the money at all in my opinion, but there it is. Let's go up here. We're going on top of the water gate thingamajigger. Bum 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 bum. Leon! One little piggy, two little piggies, three little. Ah, Your Highness! That's just my way of checking cargo. Sure it is. Whatever you say, man. Hey, we got a big ship! Could this be the Dreadnought? Probably not. It won't let us in! Damn it, I'm the prince! I could have your ship sunk, you know. I could. I'll do it. I came here to do a bit of sightseeing, but now it really doesn't seem like the right time for tourism. Yeah, there's lots of battles going on. There's a chest! Cyclone piece. That's nice. Hmm, what do we got going on here? Ooh, wouldn't get too close. Not feeling so good. A bit seasick. Gonna puke. Feel better, Locke. Alright. Now there's like a ladder here. But nope, you can't climb up, unfortunately. There's a trading post here, which is kind of odd. Although we, we pretty much did all the trading that, that we're probably gonna do. For the most part, unless I like find something interesting, but yeah. We trade with the island nations in the northern continent from here. We'll keep the overseas goods flowing in, Your Highness, so you'll always have an ample supply. Good stuff. Ah, isn't this a sight to see? The blue sea. The clear horizon. It's the most beautiful sight in all of Felena. So I guess that's like the light tower. The lighthouse. Whatever you want to call it. Bum, 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 bum. Windmills. You can't walk through there, apparently. That's shit. That's shit. That's shit. 
Etch. I saw a chest, but I can't get to it, Captain. We go behind it? Yes, we can. Leon! Let me get a silence orb. Boom, 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 boom. Can we go that way? Nope, we can't go that way. What do we got over here? Got some stuff. A chest you can just barely see. Rage piece. Finding a lot of ru rune pieces. You know, you can see the new Armist Kingdom from the harbor here. There doesn't seem to be any activity over there at the moment, but who knows at a time like this. They might attack again like they did eight years ago. We'll all have to stand our ground if they do. Oh yeah, man, it's your home. It's a poppy! Alright. Let's go over here. Leon! You're you're really annoying me today. Like I'm not I, I I'm not even kidding about that. The Lord of Estrus doesn't just look after the big-time movers and shakers, you know. Thanks to him, even small-time traders like me can make a decent living. Well, that's nice. What's over here? Nothing! But a nice view of the water and such. It's a little boat! A little dinghy! You know what I'm talking about. You can go around here, which is kind of cool. Look at that awesome view. Not sure what this thing is, but it exists, so yeah. You can't let them win. You can't. You're the one with the sun on your side, your highness, not them. The sun won't let anyone get away with stabbing Felena in the back. Yeah, well. I'll never forgive Lord Godwin for what he's done to the princess. And Lord Barrows is no better, frankly. Yeah. This town is in the lowlands, so we always used to have awful floods whenever there was a huge downpour. It was a huge drawback to living here, but since Professor Babbage invented the windmill, we haven't had any problems. Go Babbage. Go Pizza Face. I don't know how it all works exactly, but I think the wind power helps pump out the water. Presto, no flooding. There you go. Another chest. True men tactic. Kudio. Let's check it out. True men. Everyone's like in the front row. <laughs> okay. All plus 20 to attack. Evasion zero. Minus 20 to physical defense. Calm down. That That's one I really don't like, but, you know. We'll use it once to check out the whole thingamajigger. Got anything interesting here? Ninja garbs, which are good, but they're pretty expensive. So, mm. what do you have for regular stuff? Minomoto helmet? That's not bad. Sodom leather, that's pretty expensive. Yako chainmail. Night armor, which nobody can have. Eh. Zodom leather's actually better, but it... But the ninja garb has a speed increase, so... I think I'll get one of these for Frasia, you know, since he's the main character and such. And, uh... That's about it, really. Get, I guess I could get an iron boot for Zagai. See if any, if anyone else can have the Lancer armor. Leon can have it. There you go. About the knight full armor. Give that to Zagai. He, he definitely needs that. All right. Do we have any stuff? 
I think you've already mastered everything it would seem. Oh, no, you're out of... Okay, I see. I see. Talk to the cat, jerk. There we go. Training. Leon, I guess we could upgrade some stuff. The defense. And then we could upgrade your technique. So that's a good thing to have. Okay. You gotta love this overhead view, like we're playing Link to the Past. I've heard all about the fighting out west, but we're so far away from it here, it doesn't really seem like there's a war going on. Yeah, well there is. So that's kind of like a bizarre kind of thing going on. Okay. You can buy skunk and alert orbs. Stench status. And a whole bunch of scrolls. Not concerned with that, though. Is there any stuff we want to put on anybody? Um, got poison orbs. Guess we can give you a poison orb. Why not? Can't be put there for some reason. Actually, I, th I think I think venom would be better than poison, wouldn't it? I think so. So yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. There's a fine line between genius and well, madness, and Professor Babbage walks that line. Yes, he invented the windmill, but look at his house. Or the revolving bridge. I mean, that's not the work of a sane man. Your Highness, you'll find nowhere else to compare to Estrus when it comes to the variety of goods available. Yeah, well... Rough, rough. Lord Wilde's wife Donna is more than capable of looking after things here in Estrus while her husband's away. I hope he'll do everything he can to help you settle all this trouble, your highness. Yeah, well, he's doing alright. Alright, so that takes care of this place. But what we want to do now is head to the revolving bridge. So let's go ahead and try this form skill. Elegy, one times damage, blank and da attack. <laughs> You're surrounded, dude. Whoa, okay. Yeah, I'm not I'm not a big fan of that, but you know, it exists. The dude jerk face. How's it going? Those guys can swing the bridge around whenever they decide to attack, and all we can do is just stand guard. It's quite frustrating, as you might imagine. Of course, there's nothing to be done about it, since the bridge can only be operated from the opposite shore. But I wonder if there's not a way to disable the bridge completely. I heard that the inventor who designed this bridge lives in Estrus. Hmm... I wonder... The inventor who lives in Estrus might be able to, to disable this bridge. Might be able to. Probably not, but... Oh, Banshee, that's a new enemy, I think. What's up with that? Ooh. <laughs> Weaker versions of the area boss, I suppose. The guy got to do something for once! Wow. Good. Not his voice. Not at all. But we got Octopus. How's it going? I'm busy right now. If you need something, take it up with Sorensen. He's right over there, hmm? Hey, Pizza Face. Oh, Your Highness, have you come to take another look at the Professor's creations? 
Not exactly. We, we want to stop the revolving bridge. What? Stop the revolving bridge? Basically. No, we can't. The revolving bridge is one of the professor's greatest achievements. I'll disable the bridge. It shouldn't be too difficult. I'll just grab some tools and... Professor? That old bridge hardly moves anymore. When it does, it's just to assist some unscrupulous soldiers, hmm? And who needs them, right? Because I didn't build the bridge for a big band of soldiers. They're nothing but fools, hmm? R right Professor, absolutely. You built the bridge for the good of the people, and... Nonsense, Sorensen. It's an exhibit for the beauty of Gears. Their ability to operate without human intervention, hmm? These soldiers have come along, ruined the entire purpose of the apparatus, so I ask, what's the point, hmm? Er, um... Yes, of course, Professor. You are absolutely correct, as always. We'll shut the blasted thing down. Those clods will have no bridge, but they'll see how it feels to be utterly bridgeless. Hmm? Brilliant, Professor. I'll go with you. Well then, Prince. Is it off to the revolving bridge? So Sorensen's gonna join us. Babbage is gonna join us. Yes, Babbage is not a battle character, but Sorensen is, so that's pretty cool. Babbage! He's got treasure hunt. So that's pretty sweet. Sorensen. Sorry, Loon. Yeah, Sorensen's behind us now instead of Leon. Because we're on a side quest! I wonder what Lady Siley's wanted with Gazelle, anyway. I hope they're done talking. What?! <laughs> what?! <laughs> Excusez-moi?! <laughs> what?! A uh, game? I think you're glitching out here. But okay. Uh, it's Lou! Hey, hey, hey! I heard what you guys were all blab blab blabbing about. Lou? So, were you, like, not gonna tell me about all this? Huh, huh, huh? I get to go too, right? Right, right? Right, right, right? I don't think you have to take her, but... Why not? Um, what the heck? Uh... Okay, that was odd. Really? Sweet! So cool! So who made you in charge, huh? 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 You gotta be, like, younger than me! Why can't I be in charge? Um, Lou, this is actually the print... Oh, it hardly matters anyway. Let's get going so we can get on with things. Need to get back to my gears, hmm? You listen to Pizza Face. Yeah, 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 let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, you slowy. Slowy. So Lou's gonna join the party. She's also a battle character. So, yeah. Sorry, Silence. Lou's in a really low level, but that'll change quick. Get a boat. With a boat, we can enter the revolving bridge through a pillar, you see. But let's be quick about it, hmm? Alright, that's great. We can access the revolving bridge through a door on the bridge support. We'll need a boat, please. Yeah, yeah, I, I got a boat. So let's see what we got going on here. We got Sorensen. He's got Crazy Barrel 1, a mechanical arm. Level 1, of course. And he's got the Gadget Rune! Hmm. I don't know if it's the same Gadget Rune that... that Meg has, and Jupo. I don't know. Stamina and Attack. His he's in level 3, that's just pathetic and a half. His equipment's very, extremely basic, but he's got Rolled Cabbage, for whatever reason. And Lou, who's in a higher level than he is, which is kind of sad. Still has less HP. 
Pucklebow. Auto crossbow. Apparently he's Edgar. She's Edgar. Level 1. Mischief Rune. Can't be taken off. Her equipment sucks. But, yeah. Alright, so let's see what we got going on. The Gadget Rune. 0.4 damage to all foes. Mischief Rune. From 0.2 to 1 times damage to all foes, so it's kind of random. That's exciting. See if we got any better equipment for you. Let us see. We got a lot of octopus. We can sell some of those. We don't need all of them. Um. No, what am I? Right. Okay. Now I know what I'm doing, kind of, sort of. Vessel is not good for anybody, but Silver Robe, we can give that to Sorensen. So that's something. Clothes, not good for anybody. <laughs> Excuse me. Formation wise. We want, yeah, Lou's already in the back. Sorensen can just stay where he is. Because he's going to kind of suck no matter what. And, uh, yeah. Okay. Babbage kind of has a... What does he have? He, he has treasure hunt, doesn't he? Treasure hunt, yeah. So that's not a bad thing to have. Increases drop rate, I believe. I guess we could take them to the blacksmith so they're less pathetic. Although, I, I mean, they're still going to suck, but, you know. Neither of them are really great characters at all, but, you know. Let's upgrade their weapons. Make them a little less pathetic. Might as well. Or we're not going to be able to completely upgrade them or anything, but... Might as well do what we can. Get them up as much as we can for now. Bum bum bum. Pucklebo. Do 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 do. I guess we can do one more. Oh, that's a nice upgrade, though. Crazy Barrel 1 becomes Crazy Barrel 2. <laughs> okay. That's wonderful. Let's see where, where, where that puts their strengths at. 141. <laughs> 122. I guess that's not too terrible. Well, it is, but yeah. Alrighty, then. Can we put any other runes on them? Oh, we could put a poison rune on you, I suppose. Something. Alright. Plus it gets... It, 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 if nothing else, it, it gets it out of our inventory, so... Alright, it's time to do an optional dungeon. I've always thought this little side quest was fun. Since this kind of thing is usually not in Sukoda in games, so. I've always thought it's kind of cool. You know what I'm saying?